Hello and welcome to Hyperdog Digital. This is Scott, and today we're going to take a look at something I'm very excited to show you, and that is uh, the uh, the new Lenovo uh, Smart Display with Google Assistant built in. Uh, these are one of the first uh, first of these kind of devices that have come out. Uh, they actually just came out this week, um, but uh, this this is the one from Lenovo, and uh, we're gonna change the camera angle on here in just a bit so you can see the screen a little better and see what's going on. But for for now, let's just take a look at at the device itself, and uh, and then we'll we'll change things up on you. So here it is right here, and this is the actual the the, the 10 inch model. There is also an 8 inch one as well. Uh, but you got the touch screen obviously on front and a huge speaker here on front. Um, on the back, uh, it uh, uh, this is uh, this one's the one that comes with uh, this bamboo backing, and I don't know if this is actually real bamboo or just something that's made to look like bamboo. I don't know, but it looks really neat. And you can see the the one side here is flat, and then the the other side here kind of juts out uh, to allow you to sit it on uh, on your on your table, your desk, your wherever you're going to put it. Um, on the bottom, not really anything down here, but a couple of bumpers. Uh, you do have on the top, uh, you have a, a, your your microphones, and there's uh, your volume rocker. Yeah, let's put this up here so you can see it a little better. There's your volume rocker, and then there's a uh, on-off switch here for your mic. So if you, for whatever reason, decide you don't want uh, uh, Google Assistant listening to you, then you just uh, can switch that off. The and, mic is muted. and it'll even tell you the mic is muted, so you won't be able to talk to it. The mic's back on. But uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, have private conversations. Now, there's also a camera right here. If you can see that. And again, with the camera, like with the mic, you can actually flip this little switch here, and it'll tell you that the camera is off. So if you uh, don't want the camera on, again, you know, a security concern a lot of people have nowadays. Uh, you can uh, you can turn that off as well. There's also a couple other mics here on this side. Now the other neat thing about this is that uh, one of the things that they talk about that you can use this for is for making uh, uh, phone calls duo using uh, Google Duo. Uh, but you can either have it sitting horizontally like this, or there's bumpers on this side as well, so you can turn it, sit it like this, and have your phone conversations that way if you so desire. That's really it. Uh, of course, you know back here you have your your power cord uh, connection, uh, but that's that's it. That, that's all there is to it. There's not really anything else uh, to look at. There's no other dials or, or ports or anything like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and change the camera angle up so you can see the front, and we'll go through some of the uh, cool things that this guy can do. Okay, so here we go. This is a, a different view of the, uh, the smart display. Uh, so here you have the obviously the main part of the, uh, is the screen here. Uh, this is the 10 inch version, uh, full high definition. And over here on this side you have the the speaker. Uh, what you're seeing right now is a, the ambient mode, and the ambient mode is basically a screensaver for when you're not doing anything with the actual smart display at the moment. This version is called uh, the photo frame ambient mode. Uh, there's uh, there's four all together photo frame the next one is art gallery and basically that just will will bring up uh, different types of uh, famous pieces of art and whatever and it scrolls through those and puts them up on your screen if that's uh, something that you wanted to do there's a clock ambient mode which uh, shows you the time has a bunch of different clock faces to choose from and then there's experimental and experimental uh, pulls from Facebook or Instagram those kind of things uh, so you can have part of your your feed or, or pictures off of there show up on your screen as well. So the smart display uh, here is basically the same thing that you're going to get if you have you know your Google Home or your Google Home Mini, uh, except it's got a screen attached to it. So you're going to have a little bit more interaction, a little bit more stuff on the screen that you're going to be able to interact with, uh, and then of course you're also going to be able to watch videos. And uh, and make calls and these sorts of things. So uh, it, it's again, it does the same sort of things. Uh, it, it will do the same things that your Google Home and Google Home Minis will do. You can stream your music, you know, YouTube Music, Google Play. Uh, you can uh, listen to news. You can uh, pull up uh, radio stations with iHeartRadio or tune in. Uh, you can uh, listen to podcasts or listen to audio books or something like that if that's what you want to do. Now, if you do have uh, like YouTube. 
uh, TV or something like that, uh, if you YouTube TV membership, then you can, of course, bring that up on here as well. Unfortunately, I do not have that currently, so I cannot do that. Uh, but uh, you can, uh, you know, do anything else if you, uh, you know, had uh, HBO Now or Google Play Movies. Uh, all of that will work as well. Uh, but uh, the videos uh, work uh, look very good. Uh, my kids love watching YouTube on here for whatever reason. They'll gather around it and, and play YouTube videos all day long. So we can try that real quick. Hey Google, play the Godzilla King of Monsters trailer on YouTube. Here's what I found on YouTube. And here we go, we can just go ahead and hit that and it'll automatically bring that up and start playing. Our world is changing. And we have a trailer for what is most certainly going to be a very feared. awesome movie. So make sure you go see that. And I'll go ahead begun. and stop that so you can actually hear what I'm saying. Uh, and of course, uh, as you can see there, this, this is a touch screen, so you can use it just like a touch screen. You can, uh, you know, slide things off. In fact, that's, you know, very much how a lot of the function happens on here uh, when, you're, when you're going through different menus. There's a lot of sliding left and right. Uh, you know, in this case, we're going off the portrait mode or we're going through the different pictures here if we wanted to. You can just touch it and it'll bring it to this kind of main screen where you can kind of slide to the left or right here. Uh, and uh, it'll, it'll show you any reminders, calendar items you might have, all the different things that you can do. It'll give you some suggestions on things that you can you can ask it, and then you can of course explore, and you will get a whole bunch of other stuff uh, that it will allow you to do if you uh, wanted to. Um, one of the things uh, that I do like on here as well is the the, the recipes. Uh, if you're somebody who likes to do a lot of cooking. And likes to get your recipes off of online stuff like that uh, then this is something pretty cool as well uh, I'm not a very good cook so uh, when I'm doing cooking I need to have that recipe right in front of me and it's even more helpful if you have a video or somebody giving you instructions so that's also something pretty cool that you can do with this and we can try that as well we can say something like show me hey, recipes Google. for baked chicken fingers okay here are some recipes and so it'll bring up a bunch of these recipes here for you and then you can you know pick one from you know if there's a specific site that you like to pull from or just see one that just looks good then you can just go ahead and hit it and should bring something up here let's see there we go and it'll give you all the information uh, ingredients steps and then if you want more information you can Before do start, we start cooking heat oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit let me know when you're done and it'll you know go on from there, and it'll actually give you. Uh, some there are instructions seven ingredients. Here. You can ask for the next ingredient or skip to the instructions. We're not going to go through all that. Now there are some uh, you know I know like uh, websites like Tasty will actually have videos, and when you open up one of those recipes, it'll actually play the video for you as well. So that's even more helpful if that's something that you are even more into and, and actually need. Now, uh, one of the other things that I really loved about this, uh, that I really got into, is something called routines. And routines is something that you can set up so that uh, when you're getting ready to, let's say you're leaving for work, or you're going to bed, getting up in the morning, uh, these sorts of things, uh, you can say a, a couple of keywords and it will run a routine. And that routine is something that you can set up uh, that will run a few different tasks. It will do stuff like show you the weather, uh, tell you... Uh, what your your traffic route is going to be or what your route to, to work is going to be if it's going to be you know busy if there's uh, any traffic or anything like that um, it'll play music if you wanted to play music it'll play news if you wanted to play news if you're getting ready to go to bed it'll sure shut off lights uh, it can adjust thermostats all kinds of different things that you could set up that you can go through and, and add different actions we can try one of those right now so uh, it's already uh, pretty pretty late at night here so we'll just do Hey Google, good night. Right now in 68136 it's 64 and mostly cloudy. Today there will be thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 69 and a low of 61. What time should I set the alarm for? No alarm. No problem. No new alarm set. Good night. 
Okay, and at this point it's going to try and play some thunderstorm sounds for me to fall asleep to, but we're not going to listen to those right now, of course, either. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I do like that a lot. Now the other big thing that uh, really uh, a lot of people uh, are excited about with this is uh, with the camera on, of course, you can make duo calls, Google duo calls to, uh, to other people. Uh, now I don't have anybody to call right now because it is uh, 1230 at night here. But uh, we did try calling Grandma a couple times, and it worked fantastic. Uh, it was very clear. It was huge. It looked great. And uh, the kids absolutely loved it. Um, and it, Instead of just having this little phone that you're all kind of trying to your best to see and, and turn to, to different people, you have this big screen and this awesome camera, and everybody just kind of gathered around, and it was, it was really amazing, uh, and it worked very well. Uh, now, you can do the... The, the 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 image and and the call in this horizontal state or you can turn it like this uh, obviously it's cut off here but we're not going to move it around but uh, so you have two different orientations that you can use uh, for making calls if that's uh, something that you feel like you need to turn and uh, it gives you a little bit more of a natural phone view if that if that makes a difference to you or not now, of course, the other thing that you can do with this that you can also do uh, with your Google Home devices, Google Home Assistant devices, is that you can control uh, your, your smart home devices. So you can turn up the thermostat, you can dim lights, uh, you can do any of those sorts of things. Of course, you can do that all with this as well. You have a little bit more interaction on the screen with some of those things. Uh, but really, I mean, that's all included as well, of course. Uh, and that, uh, of course, okay, works very so well. Okay, so that is it. That is the, uh, the Lenovo Smart Screen, uh, or Smart Display, uh, with Google Assistant. Um, it's, uh, we've had a lot of fun using this. And normally, with uh, these types of demo units, uh, and it is unfortunately a demo unit, uh, we get, you know, a few weeks to play with it, and then i uh, got to send it back. Now, uh, usually I'll do my review, and then I'll pack it up right away and send it back so that uh, I'm ready for the next thing, or I can start working on whatever's next. But in this case, we're actually going to keep this thing for as long as we possibly can, uh, just so we can play with it for that much longer. It's, it's, we have that much fun with it. Uh, you know, the kids love, you know, making the video calls, watching YouTube videos, and then of course, you can play games and stuff like that on it, so the kids love all of that. Um, the, uh, again, I've mentioned there's two different versions of it. There's an 8-inch HD version, and that is uh, $199.99, so just under $200. And then there's also a, uh, this is the 10-inch the full HD version, uh, which is $249.99. And uh, they both come with the 10-watt uh, the speaker. Very loud, very clear. Love it. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, we've we've we love playing with this thing, and uh, we're gonna keep on doing it until we are forced to give it back. Uh, so definitely, if it's uh, so if you if you have uh, you know Google Home in your house already, or you're looking to start getting into one of these things, this is definitely something that you should check out. Um, it's a lot of fun. It uh, it just adds something really cool to your house, and it is super functional. Uh, there's just so many things you can do with it, and uh, I highly recommend it. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. Uh, if it has, give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if there's something I missed or I got wrong, be sure to uh, say something down in the comments and I'll take my looks down there. Um, uh, if there's uh, anything else you wanted me to look at, you know, we will have it for a little bit longer, so let me know and if I still do have it, we can take a look at that. Um, other than that, thanks for joining us here at HyperDog Digital and I hope to see you again soon.